Hi, this is Bob Toombs again, and I just wanted to show you what I call the California LLC tax trick. Now, although this is specific to California, um, I'm, I want to show it to everybody because um, every state really has its own little tricks, and if you can gain insight into what one state does, um, typically you can get an insight into what your state is likely to do. Uh, besides, if you live in California, I really want you to see this because it's very important. Um, what we're looking at here is the 2007 Limited Liability Company Return of Income Form 568. Now, let's just do a little, uh, let's just say that you've made $100,000 uh, for this tax year. Okay, that's terrific. Now, what it comes down to for this particular trick is lines two and three. The limited liability company fee, C instructions, and the limited liability company tax, C instructions. Okay, so let's go to the instructions. Here's what this is all about. I think everybody knows that if you run an LLC in California, you owe $800 to the state regardless of whether you've made any money or not. Now, if you're just looking at the form, if it's your first time filling this out, um, you're going to see limited liability company fee. Well, that sounds like that $800 thing that you've heard about because the $800 is a flat amount that you have to pay regardless of whether there's any income or not. And then down here, limited liability company tax. Well, that sounds like an amount that would be based on your income because every other tax you've ever seen in your life is based on the amount that you've made or that your company's made or whoever has made. It's a graduated tax. If you made this much, you owe this much. If you made more than that, you owe more than that. So, um, you've made $100,000 for the year, and there happens to be a cutoff of about $250,000 this year. So you're under that cutoff, so you don't owe any of what you would think of as a tax. But, back to the instructions, where we see annual limited liability company tax. LLCs are subject to an $800 annual tax if they are doing business in California. Well, wait a minute. That thing you thought was a fee is here called a tax. And down here, limited liability company fee, in addition to the annual tax, every LLC must pay a fee based on total California income. That's a complete reversal of what any reasonable human being would expect. And believe me, people make this mistake. I made this mistake. Friends of mine made this mistake. It happens all the time. And here are the consequences. If you do this wrong, if you fill out lines two and three wrong, Many months later, you will get something that looks like this, in which they tell you, fee, nothing, tax, $800. What they're telling you is that because you put, um, you thought this was a fee, so you put $800 here, and you put zero here. That weird thing is PDF trying to fill in a, an old value. Pay no attention to it. This is wrong. Don't do this, otherwise you will get this. And what they've done, they've literally sent us back our $800 check, and they're asking for an $800 check, plus all these penalties and interest for doing it wrong. And by the way, this was a few years ago, so those amounts have probably changed. So the thing that you need to do, go back to here, is this is zero, and this is $800. That is correct. Do that and you'll be fine. Now, that was part one of the trick. You thought that was enough? Oh no, there's more. Part two has to do with the fact that your $800 LLC tax is due literally the second you incorporate your company. Even if you incorporate on December 10th of, let's say, 2007, you owe $800 for the entire year. That amount is not prorated and it's due right away. So first bit of advice, uh, w just add $800 to your uh, startup budget and just get it paid whenever you start up um, and just get, get it over with. Because here's what happens. You're seeing that I'm doing the 2007 uh, Form 568. At the same time that I file this, on April 15th, I'm going to file the 2008 LLC tax voucher. Now let me just show you that again, because there is a logic to this, but you kind of have to hang on tight to get there. We're doing it. It happens to be March of 2008 right now as I'm recording this, 
And so I'm going to be preparing the 2007 return of income because I can only report last year's numbers. I don't have this year's numbers. That's why these reports always trail by one year. But if you think of the fact that the LLC tax is always due no matter what, then it's kind of always due in the present. So you're going to be doing the 2008 tax voucher. The 2007 return of income reporting on last year's numbers, but the 2008 tax voucher for this year. So again, just, um, just remember that this is always due in the present. It's kind of always due now. So that as soon as you start your company, just go ahead, budget the extra money, pay the $800, get it done, and then you'll be on track. Um, so that's really, uh, those are parts one and two of the LLC tax trick. And I just really wanted to show this to you. Um, I don't get anything out of showing it to you, but it's, it's terribly important, so there it is. And again, this is only relevant to California LLCs specifically, but again, every state has its own little tricks, so please keep an, a close eye out for this sort of thing. Um, so that's it. Please go forth and be prosperous, and thanks very much.